Hi, this is Brad Jackson with Jackson Ampworks, and I'm here in LA today with Josh Smith uh, to introduce and demonstrate our new amplifier, the El Huapo. The El Huapo is a 100 watt uh, vintage Marshall Inspire Super Bass circuit. Uh, it's a two channel amp, the first channel is a 100 watt Super Bass kind of a vibe, so it's a very rich and creamy kind of a vintage Hendrix flavor. But the second channel is a much higher gain and it's voiced like a super lead circuit. So what you get is the old school kind of a Marshall vibe uh, that transitions into more like the Van Halen era high gain stuff on the second channel. So it's not exceptionally high gain. It's just a good hard rock kind of a sound for the second channel. So uh, this amp came about because I've had a, I had a 68 Super Bass a long time ago when I was a kid. It was the first real amp that I ever had. It was really the first amp that ever got me just genuinely hooked on tube amps. And it was just that sound that I never could forget. So um, a few months ago, Josh approached me and said, hey, would you do me a, a 100 watt super bass? And I thought, man, this is killer. What, what a great chance to work with him and to develop a circuit that I've loved for years. So uh, Josh, if you would, just tell me what it is that you love about the old super basses and why they're useful for you. Well, the super bass, obviously it starts, with, starts and ends with Hendrix pretty much for me. Um, Marshall is a sound that to me is a very specific thing, you know, so it's like when, when I think that sound, I'm thinking about artists. I'm thinking Jimi Hendrix, I'm thinking Zeppelin, I'm thinking, you know, <laughs> you know, Black Sabbath. I mean, I'm thinking certain tones, Van Halen, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, I hear this, that rolled down, fuzz face rolled down into a super bass strat thing. And I hadn't had an amp that done that in a long time. Right. And, and I also had a few other ideas that were like, man, wouldn't it be cool if Marshall could do all this? And so that's kind of where, where I was coming from. So like the super lead voicing on channel two, that's, exactly. is there another reason like why you like the super bass and the super lead? Why you prefer both of them if possible? Because I like them both, you know? And I thought, well, wouldn't it be cool if you could jump back and forth between super bass and super lead, you know? Like, because sometimes... You need a super lead with a Les Paul, you know, yeah. to get that sound, you know. So it's like, I just thought it'd be cool to have the option to go back and forth between the two, and it would just be a really kind of jack of all marshals, you know. Very cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you want, I've got we've got this super bass channel kind of set up. Everything's twelve o'clock volumes, twelve o'clock. Master on channel one is wide open. Um, so if you would just give us a flavor of what that sounds like with the super bass. Yeah. So this is straight into the amp. Nothing on. That's what I love about the Super Bass channel is that it's really rich and clean and it has this warmth to it that you don't typically get on like multi-channel high gain amps. Like you, yeah, no, a, lot, a lot of like multi-channel amps, they try to get super high gain on some stuff, but the, ch the clean channel, they almost go like Fender Twin kind of clean so that they don't, to me the clean channel doesn't fit with the dirty channel. That's the Super Lead for me like just kills it. There. No, and that's the thing about Marshall clean compared to Fender clean. It's like, yeah, when I'm playing a Marshall, I don't want scoop mid, yeah. clean, clean, you know, blackface thing. I want broken glass Jimi Hendrix, yeah. you know, 6550s or EL34 breaking up, you know. Yeah, and that's that's what we just heard for sure. Cool. You mentioned the fuzz face. Do you have one you can throw in real quick? We can Absolutely. Hear the fuzz I have a really great bass. one. So let's hear that. So there's without.
<laughs> had to turn the vibe on. For That's a awesome. <laughs> Very cool. Um, we talked about the fuss stuff and the clean stuff, but let me let me show the guys in the video quick some of the things we designed into the amp that affect both channel one and channel two. Um, the way he's running the amp right now, it's the response, which is in the JMP mode, which is um, a negative feedback setting that is very, very familiar to people that play 100 watt marshals uh, or 100 watt plexes in general. But let me show the guys the JTM mode, which is, again, something that's more like a JTM 45. You'll notice that it cleans up quite a bit. Um, the bottom end stays pretty snappy and tight. It just changes the flavor of the whole amp. So there you go. JTM 45-ish. Okay, so we did one third mode because we always try to give people just a little bit extra. So we have the JMP for the 100-watt Marshall setting, and then we have the JTM for like the JTM 45 setting, but we put a position in the middle called JXN or Jackson, kind of selfishly. Um, so what it does is we have a lot of amps that are like Class A Vox stuff. They don't have any negative feedback at all, and I love that tonality. It's a very loose, aggressive tonality. It It transitions from clean to overdrive just incredibly well. So we threw in a mode that basically plays towards that. So it kind of gives you even a more aggressive and raw sound than e any of the two previous modes on the response switch. So here you go. good love it okay so i'll throw you back in the jtm or sorry the jmp mode and i want to show you something we did um on the super bass circuit uh it's a very dark voice circuit which is why guys like hendrix and joel bramhall love it because they play single coils a lot so it plays a uh, single coils play really well with a super bass circuit whereas maybe a les paul might be a little bit too dark of a guitar to put in too dark of an amp so what we did is for guys that want the option we put a three position bright switch on each channel so in the setting that it's in right now, the middle position, the bright switch is off, but um, let me show you B1 or the first bright switch position. There we go. And if that's not bright enough for you, say you have like a white falcon that's really dark or something, you want a lot of chime, here's B2. Okay, we talked about how channel two is a super lead voice, and it, it definitely is. Um, one of the things people think about when they think of super lead is the bottom end is, is shaved just a little bit compared to the super bass, um, and the highs are extended a bit. So let me run into channel two real quick. Um, we'll turn off all the extra, you know, all the goodies here, but what it'll do is it'll give you a good feel for what just channel two sounds like when the boost is off and the low gain mode is activated. It's kind of a the equivalent circuit of the super bass as far as gain wise, but with just an entirely different voicing. So go ahead. So again, it's just that's, that sounds really sound yeah, yeah. That's just cool, man. I love that sound. It, it's really flexible. And if we were to gain this thing up, I mean, I'm not you're not like a Van Halen player, but no. if we ripped it wide open on channel two. <laughs> it's kind of the Eddie vibe. fast as I go. <laughs> yeah, that's, see that to me, that sounds like you throw a fuzz face with that and that's just Eric Johnson, that's awesome. So, but what I'll do is I'll put the gain back around 12 o'clock on channel two. We have two switches that affect channel two only. 
Um, one is a normal and a boost mode, which will be foot switchable in the production version. And what that'll let you do, it's just a good, even boost of gain. So if you want to take a solo, it lets you bump the gain a little bit. The second switch is a high gain, low, low gain uh, voicing for that channel. Currently, you're in the uh, low gain voicing with a boost off. So let me just throw the boost on real quick. Give me a, a core sound. <laughs> Got like real tubey. Cool. Yeah. I'll turn the boost off for you and we'll go to the high gain voicing for channel two. Okay, and this is where things get crazy. You can put the high gain voicing with the boost. What we'll do is throw them both together and see what we get. Go for it. <laughs> I love that. That's awesome. So what we'll do now is we'll kick the gain back a little bit on the master because every, every channel has its independent gain. So you have gain one, gain two for channel one and channel two respectively. But what we did is, we, Josh and I talked about this a bit, we went ahead and put a master on each channel. Uh, the master for channel one, I typically leave it open because I like just the raw martial plexi vibe. So I don't really like that attenuated, but there's guys that may want that. So we threw that in there just in case they did. Uh, second channel, you're probably going to want to attenuate that a little bit with the master. That way you get a good, clean sound with channel one, jump it to channel two, and you have kind of a equivalent volume. So let's hear uh, channel two right now. We can jump over to channel one now, wide open. So what we can do now is go from channel one to channel two and have a control over the volume of channel two. Uh, we've got a foot switch on the floor that you probably can't see, but channel one and channel two are foot switchable. So what I can let Josh do is just play a little bit on channel one and then just jump back and forth to channel two to, to, for different higher gain voicings. And you'll see the light change in the front panel. To, it goes red when it goes to channel two, so you'll know what cool. he's doing, yeah. <laughs> I like flashing lights and most people seem to, so here we go. Well, that's basically the El Huapo in a nutshell, and I, I got asked countless times at the NAMM show this week, what, why did we pick the, the name El Huapo? Well, first of all, Three Amigos is an amazing movie. Three so, amigos. Yeah, we're both huge fans, so it kind of worked out naturally. Um, but here's the, the second reason. Exactly. <laughs> the second reason is this. Uh, El Huapo starts with EL, and this amp uses EL34 tubes. So, and it also, you know, Hot Rod and Marshall channels are very much a SoCal kind of a thing. They kind of started here in the 80s, so... Just the whole Spanish influence there, plus the EL34, it's just made, just kind of made it a cool name for us. And it, I like names that are, you know, not so serious and, you know. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah, let's, let's be fun. If we can't have fun, let's not do it. Plethora of tones. Plethora of tone. Yeah, that's the hashtag for this amp. So that right there is the, is the El Huapo from Jackson Amp Works. Thank you, Josh Smith, for being awesome, helping us get this going, for just shredding through it. Thank you much. Thanks, Brad. Yeah.